Urea is produced in the liver and excreted by the kidneys and is the simplest amide of carbamic acid. However, with the power of chemistry, I can turn this mundane compound into an extremely powerful oxidizer which can be used in many gunpowder compositions. So to begin this experiment, this is 1.5 liters of my pee and was collected over the course of 4 days. So I've added a liter of my pee to a 1 liter beaker and then I've turned on the heating. After some time, some disgusting pee foam appeared, indicating the breakdown of some of the pee components. And meanwhile the pee was cooking, I was preparing some nitric acid. The acid was added to distilled water to acidify it, and introduced the extremely oxidizing NO3 ion into it. The NO3 ion is rich in oxygen and perfect for use in gunpowder. Now back to the pee. Heating the pee caused proteins and other organic substances to break down and precipitate out of the solution. Something fucking precipitates out of my pee. This also resulted in an extremely disgusting smell which can only be described as the concentrated essence of a full public toilet. With just 50 ml of the water gone, the smell was already unbearable, so I decided to stop the process as it seemed pretty stupid to continue. So to continue the procedure, I've transferred the pee to a 1000 liter free necked boiling flask. I set up an apparatus consisting of a tube sealed at both ends with teflon tape. So to begin I've added sodium hydroxide. This will act as a strong base which will hydrolyze the ammonia. Initially nothing significant occurs since heat is required to initiate the reaction. Once heating was applied a portion of the urea began to decompose releasing ammonia gas. So the chemistry here is quite straightforward. By introducing a strong base like sodium hydroxide the urea can be broken down into ammonia gas by hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is basically breaking down a compound by introducing a water molecule into it. Also, I didn't say this in the voiceover, but the resulting carbamic acid reacts further to produce even more ammonia and sodium carbonate. The produced ammonia then travels through the system and undergoes a simple neutralization reaction with nitric acid resulting in the formation of water and a salt called ammonium nitrate. As seen in the output, we observe the generation of ammonia bubbles which quickly react with the nitric acid. I also did a quick smell test and here's my reaction to that information. Okay, I know it's not conclusive, but uh, I just smelled it and just reeks of ammonia and I had a bit of piss, but you know, that comes with the package. After a while, I figured out that you can speed up the reaction by shaking it and it resulted in the mixture frothing from so much gas production. And I did kind of overdo it. Because of me shaking the flask, some pee solution overflowed into the output, which contaminated the mixture with some sodium nitrate and I guess a little bit of pee essence, but uh, whatever. This kind of made me sad because to be honest I wanted the oxidizer to come from the piece but to be honest it's not that big of a deal. I've tested the solution's pH and the litmus paper turned greenish which means the solution was now alkaline. After shaking it some more I've depleted the urea in the pea solution and now I could finally dump out this horrid smelling mess. Anyway I've decided to neutralize the excess base with some more nitric acid to make it acidic again. Acidify it again? Oh hell yeah. Hmm, some more cancer fumes. Very nice. Hey you, yeah you, Prussian Blue is coming to Discord. You, you should, should join my Discord server now. now! So the reaction is complete and to get our product all we have to do is just boil off the water and the ammonium nitrate will crystallize out. So I've did just that. When there was like 40 ml of the solution left I've transferred it into this really small beaker. So eventually everything crystallized out in the small beaker and now let's move on to processing it into gunpowder. It's piss ammonium nitrate. First though, I've weighed it out and it was like 16 grams. So I've transferred the ammonium nitrate into a coffee grinder and then let it rip. The powdered ammonium nitrate was then transferred into the same beaker where it was once again weighed out. So now that we have the oxidizer, let's take care of the fuels. In traditional gunpowder, softwood charcoal acts as the main fuel and then there's sulfur, which makes its ignition way easier and also acts as a fuel. But to be honest, I don't really have a softwood charcoal, so I just use this generic uh, char charcoal used in barbecues. So for the 14 grams of powdered ammonium nitrate, I will need 2.8 grams of charcoal and around 2 grams of sulfur. This is the modern ratio of gunpowder and... As far as I know, it's probably the best. And then I've added the oxidizer. And now all I've got to do is mix them and we will have gunpowder. After like 10 minutes, it was all mixed and now I have a bunch of gunpowder, which is probably of questionable quality. So let's try to light it. Its first test was pretty disappointing because it has a bunch of water in it, so I've left it on a glass dish so that it could dry in the sun and reach its full potential. First I've put it into a crucible and then lit it with some matches.
Anyway, here's a better angle. Anyway, here's me burning the rest of it. Impressive. Very nice. So with that Sigma grind set the Giga Chat burn, I end this video. Subscribe for a cookie and to become literally like Patrick Bacon.